Well, this pandemic has taken us all into a new way of doing things. For healthcare especially, and it seems more is learned every few days we're into this. Joining us now live to talk about that is Dr. Virginia Byluck. She is Chief of Infectious Diseases at the Hospital of Central Connecticut, which is a Hartford Healthcare Network facility. Thank you for being with us, doctor. It's a pleasure, Lisa. Uh, well, tell us first, what have the last two months been like for you? Well, as an infectious disease physician, I've been used to new and emerging infectious diseases over my career, but we've all been worried about a pandemic, and this pandemic came on very, very suddenly for us. This has been the busiest time of my career, but it's been very challenging. I've worked with some wonderful people here at the Hospital of Central Connecticut and Hartford Healthcare. We had to set up a lot of new systems. We had to prepare for a lot of extra patients. These patients were critically ill and it's been a great teamwork uh, experience here at the Hospital of Central Connecticut, but very busy. Yeah, there's still so much to be learned about the disease, but what have we learned so far? If you can kind of gloss over the surface and give us a view. Now, most of us have been following the epidemic since the pandemic, I should say, since it first became obvious in China and then spread to countries in Europe, such as Italy. And but it, until it actually hits you, it's hard to know what to expect. The patients were very sick. We learned a lot from people who took care of these patients earlier than we did. For example, we changed our way of managing these patients when their lungs were failing based on what we learned from physicians in New York where the pandemic hurt, hit um, earlier. We have learned what has worked and what has not worked in terms of medications. We've learned more about the epidemiology of the virus, such as how long patients are expected to remain infectious to others. So we've learned a whole lot, a lot of emerging literature coming out about this virus, but I want to stress we ha still have a tremendous amount more to learn about this virus. Yeah. Wow. Well, with the state reopening in some phases, what will be key going forward to keep this virus at bay? Give your, the public your message as an infectious disease specialist. Well, as a human being, I'm excited to uh, go back to a more normal life, more human connection. But as an infectious disease physician, I have to uh, caution everybody to please remain vigilant. Pay attention to social distancing rules. Stay six feet away from others. Wear a mask when you need to be within six feet of other people. Uh, take your mask off only when you need to eat or drink in the restaurant. If you're sick, please uh, get tested. We just heard about more testing sites that are becoming available. Hartford Healthcare has testing sites. I, I think knowing if you have the virus is very important because then you can uh, quarantine yourself from others. You can let other people know that they may have been potentially exposed okay. and stay safe. We want everybody to start to enjoy their lives again, uh, go back to work okay. as the governor allows but please try to stay safe. And if you're sick, stay home. Okay, and finally, one last question uh, briefly. I heard on one of the Hartford Healthcare briefings, the doctor, I don't know if it was Dr. Kumar or Grant, said wearing the masks and social distancing is 99.9% .9 effective, so it works. Is that your feeling on that? Absolutely, but what, what, it, what wearing a mask mostly does is it protects other people from me. So I always have my mask on when I go out. I love to go out for walks, but I wear my mask because I think it's really, really important in this time because we don't know who's carrying this virus without any symptoms. And if you're carrying the virus, you can spread it to loved ones, uh, friends and other members of your community. So yes, absolutely, wear a mask or face covering. I really hope people heed that over the weekend as we all want to get out. All right, mm -hmm. Dr. Virginia Bielok, thank you so much for joining us once again. Always insightful, thank you. Yes, yeah, stay safe and healthy and enjoy your weekend. Thank you, and to you.